Hello everyone, Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Welcome to my craft room. Come on in, grab a beverage. Oh, look, I have a beverage today. Mm. Orange sparkling water, good stuff. Grab a drink. We're going to do some fun crafting tonight. i um, going to pop over here to comments and see who's hanging out with me tonight. Bonnie B is here. Joyce is here. Jocelyn, Rosemary. Thanks for coming, guys. Susan's here. Excellent. Gang's all here. Kathy and Lynn, thanks for tuning in. So glad that you could hang out with me tonight. We're going to do some paper crafting. <gasps> surprise that's what we always do right so i'm looking forward to uh sharing a fun fold card with you as you may know i love fun folds now this particular fold i did a card um, with the perfectly penciled and the charming sentiments bundle a couple of weeks ago on a video and now could i find that card no because i had it in my hand to get the measurements and yeah, I don't know where it is. I had the belly band, but I don't know where the card went. Um, anyway, I have a, a picture of it. I printed that out and I couldn't find it. Um, but I also sent out, if you subscribe to my project sheets and let's just pop that up here really quick. So every week I send out free project sheets and a couple of weeks ago, this fold was one of the project sheets that I sent out. Now, it was different dimensions and, you know, a little different finishing because it, that one had embossing on it and uh, heat embossing on it and so forth. This one will be different. So I might do a might do a project sheet for this one, too, in upcoming uh, project sheet email. So if you want to subscribe to that, go to SueStampfield.com, click on subscribe and you have a couple options. You can subscribe to my blog so that you're notified when I have a blog post, or you can subscribe to my newsletter so that you get the project sheet emails, or you can subscribe to both, whatever works for you. So um, we're going to do a little fun fold action uh, coming up here. Now, every month I do an event called Crafter Noon. And so people who place a $50 order with me the month prior get a fun packet in the mail. So those of you that ordered last month, keep an eye out. They haven't gone out yet. I'll send you an email when they've hit the mail. <laughs> and I usually mail them around the 10th, 10th, 11th of the month. So I'll give you a heads up when those are coming. And the Crafter Noon event is on the 20th. Now, anybody can watch those Crafter Noon videos. They are public. And I have a whole series of them on my YouTube channel here. Um, also, if you go to my blog, SueStampfield.com, you'll see all of the other fun folds we've been doing since January. We're in month six this month. So yay. Um, I am feeling better. Thank you so much. Uh, I had COVID last week and every day I get a little better. I'm still tired, <laughs> which is frustrating. Like I want my energy back, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there for sure. So in fact, that's why I grabbed the sparkling water because I was like, I got really sleepy before our video. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to fall asleep on them. So if you hear gentle snoring, um, wake me up. <laughs> yell and I'll wake up. So, oh, Rosemary, I'm sorry you're having some internet issues. Um, I don't think it's on my end. It might be on yours, although, you, you, gosh, you never know with internet. Sometimes the replay is better. So if we lose you, uh, make sure you tune into the replay. That should hopefully work a little better for you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to flip the camera here and show you my desktop. Yay, there we go. So we're going to be uh, creating tonight with a, a stamp set or a bundle, actually a whole suite. <laughs> the bundle is called True Beauty and uh, it comes with a lot of dies. I have two magnetic sheets because it has a lot of floral dies as you can see. And then also has this really cool lattice work die. Now we are not using the lattice work on this card, but stay tuned. Saturday night's video, we will be playing with this lattice. Um, I did create a card with that today and I cannot wait to share that one with you. So we'll do that on Saturday, but today we're going to focus more on the flower parts. <laughs> so we've got our stamp set here. We're also going to use the stylish shapes dies. We're going to use um, that for our, our words on this card. So I've got those uh, here. 
Um, mm, I don't know if I can show you. <laughs> it's kind of a big mess right now. The, the paper that is part of the suite is absolutely gorgeous. Now we played with this on Saturday night. If you were here for my last video, and if you weren't, you can catch the replay either on my Facebook channel or um, on my YouTube channel. We created this card. Now this uh, embossing folder is called Bouquet of Love, and it's actually a hybrid folder, which means you get not only the embossing folder, but also a set of dies with that folder. And so we created this card with this paper, um, the, the, uh, a wash in beauty paper, which is part of the suite. I did want to point out this hybrid embossing folder and matching dies are retiring. They are 50% off right now in the U S they are wall supplies last only. <laughs> so if those are on your wish list, I would, uh, encourage you to act quickly. Um, the uh, mini catalog from January through June, which is what these were a part of, is retiring. And we have a retirement list. And some of those items are starting to sell out. And a lot of what's selling out are stamp sets. So um, I just printed this off. This is not, there is some lag time. So not everything is on here. But Gumball Greetings stamp set, Garden Greenhouse stamp set. Um, you might be noticing a theme. There are a lot of stamp sets that are selling out. So when the stamp set sells out, then the bundle cannot be purchased either because the bundle is a stamp set with dies. And if the stamp set is gone, you can't get the bundle. So I wanted to um, point out, oh, did you order those, Mary? Uh, the embossing folders after our video on Saturday? They are absolutely gorgeous. So uh, I think you made an excellent decision there. Okay, I'm going to switch back and I take that off so that it doesn't block anything. Um, and then we also are sold out of the New Horizons Designer Series paper. And then the Soaring Swallow stamp set, the, the uh, biggest fan stamp set, and the four of the record cling stamp set are all sold out. So what I'm seeing here is a trend that stamp sets, once again, are selling out before anything else. We saw that happen when the annual catalog retired. And so that appears to be the same um, happening again. So if you have stamp sets on your wish list, I would act sooner rather than later. So this is the True Beauty paper. There is one pattern of paper I can't show you in the full sheet because we're using it today. And I used it for um, a swap that I'm in this week and I've cut it all up. So um, you'll get to see it in a minute when we make our card. Uh, this particular pattern in the set, the images on here match the dies in the set so that you can, um, if you're in a hurry for a, a card, and you don't want to mess with um, stamping the images, you can uh, stamping them and then die cutting them out. You can actually just match up the dies and you can die cut them out directly. I gotta, uh, I gotta find the match up here. Mm -mm -mm. Usually pretty good at this one, but I'm, I'm at a lot. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> it suddenly became clear to me. So we can um, cut out all of the flowers and stems on every single thing on this sheet has a matching die to cut out. So um, they're different colors, uh, but you could do a mix and match thing and you could get a lot of cards out of this. So I wanted to point that out. It is beautiful paper. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not even showing you the other side. Um, of course, like many of our papers, one side is a little bit plainer. The other side has the pattern. So that's these two. Um, this one is big and bold and bright. In the back, we've got some mossy meadow. And then this one on the other side is this pretty blue, which we're also using tonight, this balmy blue pattern. And yes, I love that the dies match the paper because it saves you so many steps <laughs> when you're, you're stamping. Obviously, at some point, you'll run out of the paper, but then you've got the stamps and you can do your own thing. So, all right, I think I've shown you all of the patterns of this paper. You can see I've been using it quite a bit and uh, have little bits and pieces left. But the one other pattern is the one that we're using tonight. So let me bring that in. So this particular pattern is when it comes 12 by 12, it has this floral pattern all along one edge and on the opposite edge with a band of white in the middle. So it's perfect for cutting apart into and to make cards with. So I will run through the sizes for our card tonight. 
But before we get to that, let's go ahead and do a little bit of stamping here. I've got some extra white. I guess I thought I might, maybe I would mess up. That's not totally not going to happen, right? Ha. Huh. <laughs> All right. That's why we have paper scraps. So I'm going to open up my balmy blue ink pad. And I'm going to take this sentiment right from the stamp set that says, just because, uh, just because that's the one I'm going to use. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that on this scrap piece of basic white. Um, this piece is one inch by, mm, I don't know, it's obviously longer than I need. It's probably four. Yep, one by four. Uh, but, you know, any little scrap will do. So we're going to be die cutting that out. And then let's go ahead and close up the balmy blue before I accidentally put something important in it. Now I'm going to grab my uh, Granny Apple Green ink pad. Now when I'm selecting the colors for my card, I am using the back of the paper because it tells me all of the colors that come in that paper. And so that way, I, if I'm trying to match a pattern in the paper, I don't need to second guess because it tells me exactly what colors were used. So Granny Apple Green is one of those colors. And I'm going to stamp, uh, ink up, stamp up, <laughs> ink up these little leaves and get those stamped in some Granny Apple Green, nice and bright. I love this card because it's nice and bright colors. Probably should have showed you the card, but that's okay. We'll get there. All right, and then we're going to open up our polished pink ink pad. And I'm going to ink up this five petaled flower. Get it nice and juicy. I didn't re-ink this and I've stamped a lot in it. So we'll see how we go. I like to press and then hold it to the paper so the color can transfer. I'm okay with that. That looks all right to me. All right, we're going to pop that closed. I do need that again in a few minutes, but these are pieces that we are going to die cut um, to use on our image. So um, I foolishly did not grab my machine. I'm just going to grab my mini machine and be right back. I'm back. <laughs> All right, we're going to just pop those out of the way here and let's pop this open. I'm going to raise my camera up so Bear with me here so that I don't bump anything important. Okay, make sure my light's on. All right. So I'm going to use the little mini machine. You could also use the standard one. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use uh, the number one. I'm doing a die cut. So it tells me here in the little picture that I need number one and then two of the number two plates. So here's one number two plate. It's quite scarred up, but that's okay. It's still got lots of life in it left. And now I'm going to find the matching die and pop that on. I will adjust that in a minute. I'm just going to lay it on there for now. And my leaves. And, you know, I feel like I might be pushing my luck if I try to do the words, too. I'm going to do the words in a second go. <laughs> Sometimes when I try to save time, um, yeah, I end up cutting it crooked because I was smushing too many things onto the plate. So I'm going to grab a post-it note here and adhere down the dies to my cardstock. Um, I do want to mention it one more time. The, unfortunately, the magnetic platform for the large machine, and then that'll be the same case for the one for the small machine. Um, there was some quality issues, so those numbers have been pulled. That product is not available to order. Um, some of the, the uh, magnetic plates were separating, um, so I don't know if it's areas that have high humidity. I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, mine's still working fine, but they are not available right now, so just FYI on that. All right, so I've got these stuck down. And we're going to go ahead and I'm obsessed with these papers too, Denise. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut these images. Send them through this cute little machine. I love it. And I could have grabbed the big machine, but you know what? this just takes up less room. It's a little more convenient over here on my stamping desk. So you can see those have die cut out our stamped images there. Yay. 
and then we're just going to go uh, through one more time. Now, I'm going to flip this plate over. The reason I do that, if you don't flip it, it starts to curl. And in, you're going to end up with a candy dish. <laughs> it gets so curvy. So if you flip it every time, it will stay nice and flat for you. So we're going to switch to a different die set here just to cut out the greeting. We're going to grab our um, uh, Stylish Shapes dies. These are a stitched shape. We've got circles. We've got squares. We're going to use the banner. And we're going to use the smaller, long, skinny banner. And we're going to pop that on here and stick it down with a post-it note. Once again, I guess I could recycle one of the ones I have, but I'm too lazy. So I'm going to do that. All right. I can reuse all three of these now. And we're going to send that through. And then we've got all our die cutting done. And we're ready to talk measurements for our card. So let's pull this out. Set my plates aside here. Put those away. Trying to remember to put things away, and then I won't lose things like that card. <laughs> yeah, so funny. All right, so I'm going to pop that out so you can see it did that nice stitching around the edges. Let me zoom in a little bit. So it's got that cute stitching. Now, if I was cutting it out of a bigger piece, it actually leaves a stitched frame. So if you want to use that for something else, you totally can. And then we have these guys. So we've got our parts and pieces. Let's bring in our cardstock. So, oh yes, Sandy, it's um, it will uh, will add a lot of life to your plates if you flip those every time. They are consumable items, so they will wear out eventually. But, but yeah, you can really get more life out of them if you do that. All right, so I have, I'm, I'm zoomed up here and I, let's zoom that out a bit. So let's um, get our measurements. I already have this cut and scored, but that doesn't help you out if you wanna make this card, does it? So this piece of paper is five and a half by eight and a half. So it's half a sheet of regular cardstock. I'm gonna tilt it because my, um, my uh, ring light is, reflecting like it likes to do. I know I'll drag it down here. So I scored it at the three inch mark and then I scored it at seven and a quarter. So let's go over that one more time. Our paper is five and a half by eight and a half and we scored it at three inches and seven and a quarter. Okay. Now this card, it needs a belly band closure. And so that belly band closure is right here. And it is half inch wide by nine and a half inches. Now, the last time we did this fun fold, we made the belly band wider. We made it three fourths of an inch. Uh, this time I'm making it narrower and I'll explain why when we make the card. So again, this is half inch by nine and a half inches. And I only scored it in one spot. I scored it at four inches. Whoa, and then I threw my stylus on the ground. That's okay. Um, we're going to be making another fold there, but we're going to do that freehand. All right, so I'm going to bring in my card base here, and you can see I've already got it creased on the, on the score lines. And so the two pieces are kind of meeting in the center, like so. And let's bring in our designer series paper. So I have that True Beauty Designer Series paper and in my two patterns, this piece is two and three quarters by five and a quarter, I think. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. I'm pretty sure that's right, but yep, two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then this piece is one inch by five and a quarter. And so I could just uh, adhere those directly on my card and that would be super pretty or I can add a layer. And I did decide on this card to add a layer. So I made my layer out of balmy blue, just bringing in more of that blue, picking up more of the blue in the paper. And so I made my layer a, an eighth of an inch bigger than my piece of card, uh, piece of designer paper. So this one is super easy. It's one and an eighth by five and three eighths. This one is two and seven eighths by five and three eighths. Now, if you don't like eighth inch measurements, but you like the look of a layer, 
you can just make your layer this size and then make your designer paper uh, quarter inch smaller. Always an option. So I'm going to grab my seal and I'm going to adhere my one by five and a quarter inch piece of designer series paper to my one and an eighth by five and three eighths. Did I get sticky on that? Just in case I did, <laughs> I'm going to flip it over. Now this paper is directional. So when I go to stick it on my card, I'm going to want to make sure that these little flowers are facing upright. And then I'm going to adhere my two and three quarters by five and a quarter inch piece onto my two and seven eighths by five and three eighths inch piece. And that just gives me that nice little pop of blue and um, really highlights the blue in this paper. I love this suite too. This paper is so gorgeous. And oh, thank you, Denise. That is so kind of you to say. Uh, Denise is talking about my crafternoon tutorials. Um, I put, <laughs> I spend hours on those tutorials because I want them to be uh, really easy to follow. And I do a lot of pictures, step-by-step -step pictures. So I appreciate your kind words. I'm so glad that you found that those uh, are useful. I've been getting a lot of nice comments and I do appreciate that so much. So I've got this one adhered on there and now I'm going to adhere this piece on as you might imagine. And then we're going to add our belly band and then we get to decorate. So exciting. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this on here. I have to be a little slow with the, the that uh, eighth of an inch to just make sure I get everything uh, scored up. So the card will open like that. And we've got our pretty paper on there. And now we're going to we're going to hold this card closed. You can see that it, it is a little bouncy just because of the way that it's scored. So we're going to use a, a belly band to hold it closed. So this was a piece that we um, scored. So it's nine and a half by a half inch. And we scored it just in one spot at four. Um, so I'm going to put the flatter piece towards the front and I'm going to wrap this one around to the back. And that's just because there's going to be a little seam and I just as soon have that covered up. Although I'm going to be sticking a bunch of stuff on the front. So you know what? You could have it on the front and just cover it up. That would work too. I'm going to take a little piece of tear and tape. Tear and tape is really strong adhesive. And I'm going to put, you know, that's even a, that's a little kind of a shrimpy piece there. So geez, Get being kind of chintzy. Let's go with a half inch, a nice, nice big half inch piece here. And I'm going to put that just at one end of that belly band. Okay. Just like that. You see that? And then I'm going to take a little, my take your pick tool here and uh, just lift that paper backing off of the back of that. And I'm going to fold this flat. So I just want to link it up with the other half of that belly band. I don't need it to be super duper tight on the card. So I just kind of gently press it down. And so this part can be slid off when they want to open the card. Okay. So there we have our belly band. So I'm going to show you the photo <laughs> because I can't find the, the original card. So this was the other one. Whoa, let's zoom out. <laughs> there we go. This was the other one that I did with the perfectly penciled. Some of you might remember this one. Uh, where this card is, I don't know. I got the belly band right here. <laughs> and this is a big picture. But um, so on this belly band, we did it a little bit wider. We did three fourths of an inch. This particular pattern, I didn't mind if part of it got covered up, but this one was so pretty. <laughs> I didn't want to cover up a whole uh, three-fourths of an inch. So that's why I, I went down to the half-inch size. And now we're going to decorate it up with those pieces that we stamped and die cut earlier. So I'm going to bring those in. I'm going to first attach my Just Because to my belly band here. And I'm going to grab some dimension holes. You guys figured that out, right? <laughs> I love the blue border too. So I, I, I 
think I forget about blue sometimes, but I love the blue in this paper. And I don't know, having that border just really kind of pulled that all together. So I've got two dimensionals right there. I'm putting them on the belly band instead of the back of this because I don't want them to hang over at all. And I don't want to inadvertently stick my card closed. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to those dimensionals, just like so. And now I'm going to take my leaf and I'm going to attach my leaf to my flower with a glue dot. And then I'll attach the flower to the card. But we might do a little something something to that flower before we attach it. So I'm going to put the glue dot on the front side of the leaves here. And then I'm going to take my flower and I'm going to stick them, uh, stick the, the leaves sort of behind the flower. Okay, now this flower, as you might imagine, is going to attach to the card. Slide that belly band up a little bit. So it's going to attach the card just like so. Actually, I might go, I'll probably go like that. And um, before I attach it, though, I'm going to add a little something to this flower. Um, you might imagine that I'm going to add an embellishment, and you would be right, but I'm not going to add the embellishment yet. I, um, I, for my swap, I use the iridescent rhinestones. Um, you also could use the uh, iridesc iridescent pearls are beautiful and they do actually come with the set. Um, or you could also use the opal rounds. I think all of those would be good choices. But when I put my embellishment on here, I just decided that I wanted to add uh, a little bit darker pink to the center of my flowers. Now there's a number of ways that you can do that. Um, you can actually take the polished pink marker and you could just draw some little lines. Um, we're actually going to use, um, and I did do that on my first one and I'll show you that uh, when I'm done here, but we're actually gonna use for this one, we're gonna use the polished pink ink pad the same one we stamped that flower in, I have a little bit of ink refill, polished pink ink refill in the lid of my ink pad. And I am taking a blending, a blender pen. This is a blender pen. You get three in a pack. They are just a clear pen. Now mine's starting to stain a little pink, but that's okay. You can use it on any color uh, because before you switch colors, you can color, you can uh, scribble off the, any existing color on there. And once it turns clear, you can use it on any color. You don't need to wait for the tip to turn clear. Just as long as the what's on the paper turns clear, you're good to go. Now I am going to use it in the, the pink. And so I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this pink and I'm just going to make some kind of brush strokes around the center of my flower. This is totally optional. You do not need to do this. I just wanted a little bit darker pink at the middle of my flower. And so that was how I chose to do it. So it's not super fancy. <laughs> I just took little, um, I just made little lines, little brush strokes uh, around the center of the flower. And now I'm going to go ahead and add that, uh, that bling. Actually, we'll put it on our card first, and I'm going to have you guys decide what uh, bling we want to put on here. So the, the um, flower can go, let's see, I'm going to play around with how I want to put it on here. Um, I think I'm going to put it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm going to put the dimensional on the belly band. If I put the dimensional on the leaves or the flower, I might miss the skinny, skinny belly band. So I'm actually just going to put it on the belly band and make sure I cover it up with my flower. And then I don't need to worry about sticking my card close. Sorry, I dropped the flower there. So yeah, it does. It, it adds a very, very small amount, but it just really makes the center of the flower pop out, doesn't it? It's just a little extra touch, uh, makes you feel like a, like a watercolor artist. <laughs> And, you know, we are, we are artists when we make our cards, right? So um, just, I'm just trying to decide how I want to put it on here. Oh, I can do that. I could do, I'm going to do it this way. Ooh, this looks nice. I like that. 
Okay, hopefully you guys are okay with that. So this is just kind of blending in with that bouquet that's already there, but the recipient can slide this off and you can have this on higher if you want. You can have it on it. You know, I probably won't cover up that flower. I'll probably either put it above or below that flower. It doesn't matter. It's just the, the, the holds the card closed. And now we're going to do our embellishment. So I would like you guys to choose should we do the iridescent rhinestones so that's going to be one the iridescent pearls that's going to be two or the opal rounds are number three i think any of these will look nice so uh, there's no wrong answer here um, but one is the iridescent rhinestones two is the iridescent pearls and three are the opal rounds the uh, iridescent pearls are the ones that come with this suite um, they are a little bit smaller than these two, um, and it's, it's a pretty big flower center, but since we did that color, I think any of them would work. So one is iridescent rhinestones, two is iridescent pearls, three is the opal rounds. Just put your vote right in the comments, and uh, we'll go with the, the, the winner. <laughs> hey, Priscilla in Sydney, Australia. Thanks for joining us. All right, so right now two's in the lead, and three, and one. Mmm, pretty tight, you guys. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I don't, I think you guys agree that there's not a wrong choice here. So I think, I think I'm seeing more twos. Oh, I'm dropping things. <laughs> Literally, the all of the parts and pieces from the mini um, embossing machine are raining down on my feet right now. Too hilarious. All right. I think it might be a dead on tie between two and three. I already have one done with the iridescent rhinestones. I'll show you in a minute. So what the heck? Let's see what the um, iridescent pearls look like. So although I did see a lot of votes for number three, too. So, you know, it is a little bit small. I don't know. What do you guys think? That is the iridescent. Let me know if you think that's too small. Um, the regular pearls come with the small, medium, large, but the iridescent pearls only come with the small and the medium. So um, it is a little small, I think. I think it's a little small. <laughs> I'm just looking here to see too small, too small. They're saying too small. All right. We're going to take you off. And I use the iridescent rhinestone for my other one. So just for fun, let's pop an opal round on here and see what that looks like. And then we can look at them side by side. Okay. All right. So there's the opal round. And here is the iridescent rhinestone. Both are nice. I like them both. I don't know. You guys have a preference? I think they're both nice. This one has um, more glitter in it, so it's a little more solid color, whereas this is more uh, iridescent and it picks up the light when you when you wiggle it. <laughs> now, you can see that one of these centers has is darker than the other. So this center is the one that I used the polished pink marker to draw the center. And this one I used, as you saw, the blender pen with the ink pad. So uh, both are good options there. Um, I could have made this darker by picking up a heavier concentration of ink. It's just totally up to you. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And our card needs one more thing. Our card needs uh, a cluster of three. Yeah, for the iridescent pearls, I think a cluster of three would be nice. Um, these might be a little too big. So always an option, right? Uh, but you know what? Our card needs an inside message. So let's grab one of my, um, this is actually one of the first sets I got with this new annual catalog. Um, and it's a greeting set. I love greetings. And this one is called Go To Greetings. So it has three different versions of Happy Birthday, three different versions of Thinking of You, three different versions of Just a Note, and three different versions of Thank You. Because as we stampers know, not every font goes with every card style. So if I was doing, um, you know, depending on the card, like this one is more of a casual handwritten look. Um, it'd be like, I am thinking like cutesy images that would be adorable. Um, 
And then this one is a nice solid scripted one. It actually I've used it on masculine cards and really any card that can use a kind of a medium size greeting. This one is gorgeous and great for those fancier scripted cards. So, um, so not a wrong answer on this one either. So I need you to vote um, big, medium, or small. What you think would match this card best, big, medium, or small for our greeting. And I'm going to do it again in balmy blue because I'm kind of on a balmy blue click here. Is Jennifer on? Jennifer likes balmy blue. Jennifer and I are having a balmy blue party tonight. And so I'm going to open up my balmy blue ink pad. So there's a little squeaky there. And I'm going to grab a block. And I'm going to be all ready for you guys to tell me if you want the big, medium, or small. You got that set, Susan? I love it too. It's awesome. Um, I think right now the big is squeaking out, but it's pretty close. Anyone else want to chip in? All right. Big is the winner. We like the big, big fancy font with this one. So I'm going to go since the outside says just because for the inside, I'm actually going to put thinking of you because that kind of goes to in my brain. That's those seem to go together. Um, just because I was thinking of you. That's a good reason to send a card, right? Any reason is a good reason to send a card. <laughs> and what I should be making tonight is graduation cards because I've got at least three that I need to get out. Um, so I'm going to open this up and ink this up in the balmy blue. I have this is like I haven't inked this actual one up. This is the first time. It's the first time out of the out of the case for this particular image. Woohoo! So I'm gonna put it up near the top so that I have room to write. I could add some flowers here if I wanted to. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it with that for now. But look at that font. How gorgeous. It's isn't it beautiful? I love that font. And then we're just going to slide our belly band on here. And our card is all done. Yay. So I have, mm, I like it there. I also like it up here though. There, there's no wrong answer, right? Um, I have uh, 22 of these that I need to get done tonight. Um, so far, I'll give you a recap. Uh, everything is cut and scored. Everything is cut and die cut. Uh, the belly bands are all on. And so next up, I need to stick on the banners, the flowers and the leaves and add my embellishment. And I have not done my inside message yet, but now I know what I can do, right? Because I, you guys help me out. So um, I did want to give a shout out to um, uh, Kathy Seal. I got this fun fold idea from Kathy Seal. This was her version with the gorgeous sun prints, uh, nature's prints um, stamp set. So thank you, Kathy. I got this in a swap. I can't hardly wait till I get this swap back. I'll have all sorts of new ideas to share with you. And again, this was our card that we did with the same paper on Saturday night. This layout idea got, I got from demonstrator Sue Moore. And then I was thinking that this uh, paper would have been a really pretty choice for uh, this fun fold. Now, this was the freestanding floating panel fun fold card that we did for the Crafternoon event in April, right? In April. And so this was kind of a sneak peek. Now, this card is fun because the panels fan out and then it stands for display with that, the, um, designer paper showing. So it's really a great paper to showcase designer paper. And I think it would be a gorgeous uh, choice for this one. Um, you can purchase the freestanding uh, <laughs> floating panel card tutorial bundle. It comes with, oh my gosh, how many cards did I do in that one, guys? I think it was like eight or something. Um, it comes with a whole bunch of tutorials. Most of them are uh, a three, uh, uh, two panel, two floating panels. This one is actually three, or uh, it's making a total of four when you do the the base there. So, um, so that is available if you go to suestanfield.com and then look for the. You've made five of the heart card. That's awesome. Um, 
Uh, this one is available to purchase on my blog, SueStanfield.com, under tutorials. Oh, okay, we did it. Awesome. Denise has already made uh, five of these cards. So awesome. I'm so glad you love that idea. I'm going to switch cameras. That's what I'm doing. I knew I was going to do something. There we go. There we go. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Uh, quick quick uh, reminder that if you want to get the free project sheet emails in your email box, you want to subscribe at suestampfield.com, click on subscribe, and then you'll get those project sheets. Anyone is welcome to subscribe to that. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. This was fun and I better get busy. I've got a lot of swap cards to finish. So take care, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye.